Hello folks, I'm Ben from Drunken Buddha. Welcome. Today we're going to be looking at three breathing exercises that help with addiction, compulsions and cravings. Anything on the sort of spectrum of addiction and craving, these might help with, uh, you know, even compulsive thinking, uh, compulsive behaviours, to just eating too much chocolate. They're, you know, they'll, they'll be helpful. So to set the scene, it's worth knowing that addiction and cravings, they're driven mainly by nervous system dysregulation. What that means is it's your nervous system is chronically stuck in a kind of a survival state. This could be something that's very sort of up and agitated, like a fight state, you know, something like anger or anxiety, or it could be something like a down state, sort of depressed shutdown state more when, you, when your body collapses to try to stay safe. And when it's stuck in this place, it's like, your body feels unsafe on some level all the time and some part of your system is chronically either up or down or a mixture of both. And so we cravings arise, addictions arise to try to help regulate that nervous system in short. So we need some breathing exercises that are gonna help us to deal with that up and down and hopefully to re-regulate it over the long term. So are we giving you an exercise to help you know, calm the nervous system? one to uplift it and engage and then another one that is for processing emotions for processing that stuck survival energy so that you can sort of heal your nervous system over the longer term so the first one which is to down regulate is called four seven eight breathing it's very simple you breathe in through the nose for four seconds or four beats so you can choose your own frequency then you hold your breath or you just pause for seven seconds or seven beats and then you exhale through the mouth you know, pretty slowly doesn't have to be anything crazy for eight seconds or eight beats so uh, an example is, is, is just as simple as this so just on the inhale for four pause for seven exhale for eight And that's all there is to it. Fundamentally, as long as you have a bit of a pause and the out breath is longer than the in breath, you'll be doing a good job of really just helping the nervous system to slow down. But you don't just do it a couple of times. Uh, that you know, got to wait maybe a few minutes of doing this exercise just to allow it to have the time to adjust. So you know, start it off two, three minutes. Happily go for five or ten. It'll be really beneficial. And then you'll just notice over those five, ten minutes. Just keep checking in to, to that felt sense of, of, of how your system feels. And you should notice it slowly calm down. You can also, as a, as a little addition to this, what I quite like is to put a hand uh, where you might feel some of that agitation. Perhaps it, often it's, it's the chest or maybe it's the belly. So just place a hand there. It's just very supporting and it helps to calm, calm it as well. You can do some little circles. And, and maybe even just do a little bit of light movement, just, just to the left and to the right, something like this, whatever feels good for your system. And then if you sort of go for that breathing in, in this state, combination of breath touch and movement is is amazingly effective those are the three ways that the body naturally regulates its own nervous system so bringing these in really is really helpful give that a shot so the second one is when you're feeling more depressed and down and shut down numb dissociated that kind of vibe and it's called the uh, breath of fire or sometimes it's called lion's breath as well and we're gonna start that by panting like a dog. So you can just start panting like a dog. Then you, <laughs> that's not the exercise. <laughs> you make a little modification. You wanna do that same movement. It's the movement we're looking for, but with the mouth closed and through the nose. So you go. And you'll notice that your belly contracts, your diaphragm contracts to get that, to, to expel the breath. And that's the combination you want. You want to push the air out through the nose and pull in the belly. So, and then you just let it passively relax and that's how you do the inhale. So you go. And then you speed it up.
that's breath of fire and you want to make sure the rest of your body is relaxed you know and uh, that you're concentrating on, on tensing you know br bringing in the belly and then just passively allowing the inhale and you want to do this about one every second and then keep it going for at least 30 seconds but you can you know with a little bit of practice you can do it for quite a few minutes and some yogis do it for you know 30 up to 30 minutes as a practice so it's that rapid fire breathing is what engages the nervous system so if you to sit down do it for a few minutes and compare the before and after so before you do it just compare that felt sense of your being what it what it feels like to be you maybe you've you know a little numb a little a little down a little dull and then do do this exercise for a few minutes and and you should notice there's a little bit more engagement uh, additionally you can add some extra you know facets to it you know standing up is quite helpful because standing up engages the nervous system you know you could probably maybe just shake your knees a little bit or just bring some slightly some some small movement to the exercise um or, or touch and and that really helps to just uh, to enhance it a little bit now the third one because it's worth noting that these two exercises are, are sort of like emergency measures almost so if you're if you're feeling pretty agitated or feeling pretty down these can help you in the moment to to deal with cravings any cravings that might come up but they're not going to help you over the long term you want something that will help you to really uh transform these emotional energies so that you don't need to keep regulating your nervous system essentially and so for this we're going to use rhythmic breathing now a starting point for this will you be that you need to discern the emotional state that you're in so perhaps with your sort of feeling of being down shut down depressed you might notice some sadness for example or with your sense of being anxious you might notice fear or anger and these are some of these emotions that you want to discern first so you know what you're working with once you've done that there's uh, it's a very simple technique on the inhale you want to sort of bring in and intensify and directly feel this emotion to whatever extent you feel capable. So bringing it in on the inhale. Then on the exhale, you're not pushing it away, but you just want to let it expand sort of into the space around you, almost like it's, it's dis letting it, give it an opportunity to dissipate. So again, it's, you're not trying to reject it or push it away or make it go disappear because that won't work. If you resist it, it'll stay around. But that combination is basically helping to encourage this emotion to move through because all emotions they want to move naturally they don't actually want to be stuck and by doing this you're giving them an, a, um, an opportunity to do that because you're paying attention to them and you're um, feeling them directly so say i'm angry i notice there's that you know that feeling of anger i might on the inhale you know just just bring that in and just you know clench the fists just then on the exhale, I just want to let that dissipate somewhere. Let us let it expand, not pushing it away. Feel it on the inhale. Let it expand. That would be for anger. Now, that's an up emotion, so a lot of up emotions might look something like that, but you want to intuitively keep going on that and feel, just change your breathing and movement in response to what the emotion is doing and what feels good, what, what helps you to really feel that emotion directly and let it move through. If you have a more down emotion, like sadness, it might look a little different, so you might just feel sad on the inhale, so inviting that in, so. And then there might be more of a collapse on the exhale, just oh, feeling sad. Really feeling the sadness and just letting it expand, just collapsing. Feeling the sadness. And it's in this process of getting these emotions moving, feeling them directly and allowing them to flow through that you can actually start to heal your nervous system over the longer term. Now there's much more to it than, than this. These are just three sort of preliminary exercises to, to get you thinking, just to get you uh, tuned into your body and your emotions. Um, I do have a whole t emotional sobriety and emotional regulation toolkit with tons of these kinds of exercises in. And I work with people one-on-one -on -one to help them sort of get to the pain that's in the body. Um, 
and find peace without needing to use substances, behaviours, uh, get acceptance or approval from other people. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please leave me a comment letting me know how you got on. Peace out.